A Houston man has been accused of killing and eating 23 pizza delivery men, two postmen, and six Jehovah's Witnesses. I, of course, only have one question. Are they, are they good? Hey guys, welcome to my channel, K Fits My Life. So I got this story from one of my moderators, actually. She sent it to me on Facebook, and I thought it was a very interesting story to talk about. Now, I'm going to go to the web page so you can actually see the story as I read it. So let's check it out. Now, firstly, let's look at some of the things that the people around said about this person. The suspect admitted to preying on unsuspecting delivery men from local restaurants, several postmen, and even a number of Jehovah's Witnesses, Assistant Chief Jeff Buchanan told reporters. Now look at this. I never suspected he was a mass murderer. He would often invite all the neighbors to watch football at his house and host large barbecues for everybody and was super friendly, one neighbor told reporters. Large barbecues. Now keep that in mind. He was in charge of organizing our yearly spaghetti dinner fundraiser for the past five years and he was a key player in the community. I am in utter disbelief, one local YMC administrative told reporters. Spaghetti dinners. So going back up. Ivan Fedorovich Yanukovych, 56, could be linked to a number of mysterious disappearances in the area, believe officials. Yanukovych was interrogated by police after neighbors complained about him using a chainsaw late at night and reported the man being quote unquote covered in blood. When police arrived on the scene, Yanukovych was found butchering a dead body in his garage and preparing what police officers described as large quantities of ground meat mixed with an aromatic blend of spices. Yanukovych, 56, who lives with his mother, Anastasia Z. Yanukovych, 93, and who rents the house basement to a local student, seemed to blend into the community and never arouse suspicion from neighbors. When interrogated by authorities, Yanukovych apparently showed some remorse about killing the delivery man and postman who were just doing their job, quote unquote, but said the Jehovah's Witnesses really annoyed him, quote unquote, and wished he had taken out more, quote unquote. Tom Duvall, a local Jehovah's Witness organization spokesman, said that he is relieved that, quote, members of our local chapter can now feel safe, unquote, and that, quote, these courageous souls have not ended in this vile man's belly, but in God's belly, unquote. If convicted of his crimes, Ivan Fedorovich Yanukovych faces a maximum prison sentence of 2,675 years in jail, believe experts. So this is a very, very interesting story, especially since, as you know, a lot of the things I talk about on my channel is in regards to Jehovah's Witnesses and ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, going back in and doing research on this story, I have come to find out, fortunately, that the story is, in fact, a hoax. If, <laughs> if you look back at the website, you can look right here and see where it says World News Daily Report, where facts don't matter. It's actually a website that posts spoof articles about 
anything in particular. So this story, while something that's very eye catching, is very, very fake. It is a fictional person. This mugshot that they have in this article is actually a mugshot that has been around for several decades and nobody really even knows who this guy actually is. So this story, while very interesting, is totally a farce. But the thing with that story is it does raise it does raise a question and something that I'm going to talk about on my live stream tonight at 7:30 p.m. Central Time. It is whether or not going door to door as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, especially a female Jehovah's Witness, is in fact dangerous. I remember personally sometimes when I was a, a child going door to door with my mother that there were some instances instances where it was potentially a dangerous situation. So I want to talk about that tonight, June 13th, 730 p.m. Central Time on the K Fits My Life show. You're more than welcome to tune in, guys. Uh, I haven't done a video in a very long time, so this is uh, it feels new again. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you tune in to the live stream tonight at 730 p.m. Central Time and I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.